you know, um, hard fought game. It seems like we've had a, a few of these now with Louisville in uh, you know just the last few weeks. That is a uh, you know incredibly tough team to play because they you know they have all kinds of pitching weapons, guys with stuff. Uh, you know, mid nineties fastballs with exploding off speed and then you've got an offense that just creates havoc and, and pressures you. It's a high pressure offense as as fast moving of a high pressure offense as we've seen uh, in any of our opposition. So the point in saying that is that's that's a regional team. They're a quality club. Um, you know, those are those are hard victories to get over over Coach Mack and his staff and, and that team. They are they're as tough as anybody. Um, Today was really a, a tale of, of two games. I thought we came out flat. Um, they jumped us. They jumped us with six runs right away, you know, down six nothing. But the the superpower of this team is the believability that they're going to come back. And uh, it just it took a while to, for us to mount it. We missed some scoring opportunities early. We needed something to happen. Two big things happened. Uh, Jacob McGovern came in and put zeros up and only gave up a bloop single and a walk, uh, which is just awesome out of the pen. And then Jimmy Overtop doing what Jimmy Overtop does and uh, ties the game with a, a three-run homer and then um, gets the walk-off walk there at the end. But a lot of good offensive performances today to, to set him up. He, the guy hitting before him, the guy hitting after him, Cam Canarella, Tristan Bassetta, uh, you know, everybody just trying to string something together. But really proud of our club. We make it very hard on ourselves at times, but um, they have that it factor, and they've found a way to come back now 24 times. And so we, uh, we're not going to give any of them away and just love the fight of this team. And I know it'll bode well for us uh, going into next week. Go ahead and open up for questions. If you're on Zoom and you have a question, please use the raise hand function. We'll start with questions in-house. For Jimmy, I wanted to ask you, uh, you guys have had a lot of success against Bevin, their closer. Nobody else really had this year. What what did you guys see different that others aren't being able to do? Yeah, the scouting report they give us, see it up, see the sinker up and away, and then obviously see the slider up. So we've been able to be disciplined at the plate and uh, hit the pitches that are in the heart of the plate. Coach, you look like you gathered your guys here earlier in that game. Between innings, it looked like it got a little bit animated. What, what was kind of the message there? I don't know if that's a four TV uh, commentary, but basically get your head out of your butt and you know start competing. We may lose the game, but we're not going to lose the game playing like this. Um, but our, you know, our, I don't need to say much. I actually asked. I think I started with a question. You know, uh, asking what they thought people thought of Clemson who were watching in the stands and on TV of our effort so far these first few innings. And uh, I didn't have to say much. We've got great leadership. And uh, the captains of this team, they know how to get everybody uh, to make that mind switch if needed really quickly. Jimmy, did they, did that really, happen? like Coach said, did they really turn that quickly for you? Yeah. yeah. You know, once Bob, Bobby was throwing up zeros and big hit by JJ, the two-run home run, and that inning was big for us. You know, when we score runs and have big innings, it helps us to know that we're really going to come back. And uh, so just good. Good job, uh, both sides of the ball. Was it kind of hard to get up for today's game, you know, since everybody called it a meaningless game, since you couldn't advance in full play for both of you guys? No, you know, we just had to compete one pitch at a time. We never want to lose any game, so um, just got to compete and win and do everything we can to win. Yeah, what was working for you today? In the you know, when you go out there and you start throwing up zeros and, you know, what was working for you? Yeah, no, going out there, um, I thought the command was really well, but what really pushes that is you know, knowing that my defense has got my back, my catcher's got my back, and if somebody does take a stumble, you know, we'll just get right back up and get them the next play. So it's just really knowing that I can, you know, rest easy knowing that they have me. So I can just go out and do what I do. Coach, one of the things you were looking for today was answers for next week as you go into a regional. What did you learn about this guy today in this arena? Yeah, I mean, he, he grew up a lot today and, 
you know, it's not like he's out of nowhere. He led the state of South Carolina in strikeouts as a senior, so it's it's it may not be high velocity, but he still is able to mix three pitches and locate. And, uh, so it, it learned that Jacob McGovern could be a viable starter for us and uh, can also pitch uh, extended relief and can also be trusted in high leverage short relief. Um, so we just uh, opened, I think, everybody's eyes that this is going to be either a potential starter or a potential, um, you know, big big moment in the game where we need to, you know, we need some extension or we need whatever, and we can count on him for sure. Titsworth also came out there through a shutout 1.1 innings. Talk about his performance also and, and that confidence you got in him now that you know, maybe he can come out there and do something. Yeah, you know, we've, we've got some talented freshmen and they, you know, those two guys particularly showed it today and picked up a couple of juniors that you know, maybe didn't have their best performance. Uh, but I think this is the time of the year where, you know, freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. They, they've, school's out, they're sophomores, they've got, you know, a whole season under their belt. And so uh, you can start to look at expanding some roles, maybe you were hesitant to put them in early in the season, they're ready for those now. Uh, Jacob, you played in some big games in high school, obviously, in a lot of big moments. Did that help today coming out in this environment or, or not? It's a completely different environment than high school. Um, you know, when I had the ability to come in earlier in the season and I guess get experience there, that's really what helped. And just. Along with knowing that everyone has my back, I've been able to ramp up to these, I guess, higher leverage situations, and it's really been pretty comfortable. Jimmy, uh, their coach said earlier that the thing that makes it tough for you guys to beat you guys is the way you just keep coming at, at them late in the game. Is it, what is that, and do you guys kind of feel that? Do you feel teams pressing because they know you guys like to come back the way you do and keep doing it? I'm not really worried about how they're doing, just worried about how we're doing and just trying to win one pitch at a time. Obviously, when we're on offense, one guy to the next, just get on base and do what we do. So, not really worried about what they're doing out there. Anything else for the coaches and student athletes? I heard you know, some odd circumstances today with the situation, but what did you learn from your team this week and from that? Going into the well, what do you mean, odd circumstances? I guess just not being able to play the weekend. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I like to pull play a lot better last year than I do this year. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, we'll find the positive in it. There'll be a silver lining getting Aiden Canock and Tristan Smith some extra rest that they probably need. Um, give our guys a little, you know, some extra time off, but. Um, yeah, it, it would be nice to, you know, still be in it, and play a double elimination format, which is what every tournament is after this. So, but it, it it's fine. It um, I don't think I've learned anything new about these guys. Just more affirmation of their fight, their resiliency. Their, you know, could have been real easy to mail it in today, down six nothing in the fourth, and and they didn't. You know, they just kept fighting and um, just more confirming what. But we already know this team has an it factor. That's their superpower, their belief. And even in a game that technically um, won't allow them to advance by winning, they still wanted to compete and play hard and uh, play their best baseball. And understand the, the importance of having that winning feeling, competing, and you know just um, keep this momentum going. After today's game, you feel pretty good about one of those national seeds? Hey, if the committee thinks we've earned it, then we've earned it. You know, it's, uh, I, I really like this group, and uh, you know, would hope that we've done enough to earn a national seat. One more for me, Coach. Uh, Cantarella, you know, on base five times, it kind of felt like I know this is old news, right? But like, uh, when this team was maybe struggling here in this game, his energy and his on base ability felt like it kind of helped with the squish. Did you get that sense? A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, he. Cam Canarella hates to walk, and he took two walks today and uh, was animated and fired up after his walks, and you know, when we were struggling early on, he came into the dugout and was pissed, and yeah, the guys feed off him for sure, uh, and feed off his intensity, and just the competitive, just the, he's as, as fierce of a competitor as there is, um, and so having him just kind of always be on base, 
Jimmy's coming up and Vasetta's coming up and you know it's just those guys in the middle today were really the difference um, just really really made the difference in the game uh, but yeah Cam Cam can uh, can single-handedly raise the the energy and the competitiveness just by being him 